Hello! Hi, French Pani! Hi, Fiona! Hi, everyone! Uh, my name is Karen Thompson, and I am putting together the Sugar Free September Challenge along with Thanks for the Love with Emily Maguire, nutritionist Emily Maguire, fitness expert Brian Tia, and South African radio personality and blogger Bailey Schneider. So, we're really, really excited to be supporting you all on this journey. Um, and to be here with you guys, I know there have been problems downloading the ebook and I really am so sorry. I've just sent out another newsletter with the ebook attached. Hi from Ireland. Hello. Thanks for joining. So I've just sent out another newsletter with the ebook attached. Jemima, you can't type. Um, with the ebook attached so that you guys can download it and have a look. Um, have any of you been able to download it and have a look? because it is quite amazing. There are three recipes that, hi David from the UK. Hi everyone. Um, there are three recipes that I, I have added to my blog, thesugarfreerevolution.com. That's thesugarfreerevolution.com. Fiona, what did you think of the ebook? Um, we're all starting, all of us at the Sugar Free Revolution HQ are starting the meal plans and the recipes tomorrow. So I'll actually be periscoping my shopping list a little bit later and showing you what's in my fridge, how I'm prepping and preparing, because I think the greatest form of success and the best foundation we can um, lay is by preparing and making sure that we're ready for the sugar-free challenge. It's beautiful. Well done. Thank you very much. So this morning, I wanted to take you all through the 10 guiding principles for sugar-free living. Hi, Sugar Shack. Welcome. Um... Thanks, Monique. I really appreciate it. It's been a bit nerve-wracking with the ebook problems and my website crashing because of the amazing support that we've received. So I really appreciate everybody being so patient and kind and compassionate and just being fantastic. The book's a great in, uh, intro to low-carb, high-fat. Yes, thanks so much. That is what we are following. But the emphasis here is on sugar-free living. So whether you decide to follow the meal plans and recipes in the book or not, just challenge yourself to try and live without sugar for 30 days and get your family and friends involved and see how your health changes and what happens. So the 10 guiding principles for the Sugar-Free September Challenge is on page 5 of the ebook. Um, that's page five of the ebook, and initially I actually found them from Brian Tia, who's our fitness expert, from his website, Big Healthy Me, and I absolutely loved them, and they resonated with me so much. So I made up our own one for the Sugar Free September Challenge, and it really is how we're going to live our lives and how we're going to try and inspire and support each other um, and everybody else. So. What we have to do, number one, is quit all sugar for 30 days. So one day at a time, with the support of the Sugar Free September community, you can do this. Encourage, inspire, and support each other on social media or find a partner or a buddy to do this with. Ebook opening, fine, thank you. <laughs> You're a food addict, Jennifer. Yes, me too. And I promise you, you can find freedom from your food addiction. It's not impossible. Like, you can do this. The power of the group is what's going to carry us all. We're in this together. OA, I love. That's Overeaters Anonymous. It's a phenomenal program. So we're in this together. We need to support and, you know, encourage each other to stay sugar-free. So the first point in our guiding principles is quit all sugar for 30 days. And you do that by following the meal plans and the recipes, planning and preparing for this. We do have a Facebook group. It's called Sugar Free with Karen Thompson. It's Sugar Free with Karen Thompson. Um, it's a page so we can look at, at starting a group absolutely so people can share more honestly and openly and have the safety of a group instead of just a page. So I will think about that, but head on over to Sugar Free with Karen Thompson on Facebook. Are sweeteners allowed? Not so much. It is explained in the ebook. Um, you know, 
we're trying to cut out all all sweetness. You've been sugar free for four years. That's amazing. The ebook has downloaded. Yay! <laughs> I can't tell you how happy that makes me. Uh, this weekend has been quite stressful in just worrying that it hasn't been downloading and that people are going to get fed up and turned off by these technical issues that we have been having. So I really, really am sorry. And welcome to all of those of you who are new on Periscope. Periscope is an amazing live broadcasting app which we're using now. So. Guiding principle number two is we dream big and we absolutely do. Thank you for the love and you can send hearts if you like something that I say by tapping the screen. Uh, we dream big. We have a vision for ourselves and how we want our lives to be. We treat life as an adventure and don't settle for mediocrity. Um, we do what we love and we banish any potential what if thoughts. So guys, this is such an important thing, and especially in my life. Um, I lived with my own addiction for such a long time where it felt like there was nothing more than this hell that I was trapped in. And through living a life in recovery, I've, had to, I've learned that um, there is so much more and that we can dream big and we do, do deserve a lot more than we settle for. So dream big, guys. Try dream big for September. We're here to support you. Number three, we give our bodies the foods they deserve. We understand that food is thy medicine and the, f and the fuel our bodies need to perform daily activities. We think about what we put into our bodies and understand that you can't out-gym a bad diet. And this is why we are going sugar-free because it is going to improve your health in a massive, massive way. It really will. Get your kids on board. Get your family on board. Get your friends on board. Just do it. Number four, we move our bodies. We perform some form of movement each day and love our bodies as the unique gifts that they are. We believe in training smart and not harder and know that there's more to life than numbers on a scale, weight lifted or reps performed. Absolute truth. For many years, I based my value on a number on the scale and I have banished that, absolutely banished that. I am worth more than the weight that I am. So guys, stop focusing on that and start focusing on being healthy. Being healthy emotionally, spiritually, physically, and we're starting that with sugar-free September. Number five, we see health as a lifestyle, not a quick fix. And this is really important. This is not like a quick fix scam. This is a lifestyle. This is a commitment to yourself and your health. So we are in this for the long haul and embrace the journey of a healthy body, mind, and spirit rather than treating it as a destination. This is so important. And thanks for the love. Who is sending me so much love? I really appreciate it. Um, similarly, we know that health is more than just abs and toned muscles. Health is the whole package. It's about being content and um, comfortable with who we are right now as we are, even as we are on a journey to something greater. Thank you for the love. Um, number six, we believe our thoughts create, create our reality. Now, this is the truth. So our internal world shapes our external world. How we think about ourselves, what we believe becomes reality. So we choose. So we realize that negative thoughts are just as easily replaceable with positive thoughts and strive to always see the positive in any situation. And this is so important. And this is why as a group, we are here to support each other. Should we weigh or measure before we start? Um, that's definitely up to you. If, if weight loss is one of your goals, absolutely do that. Don't weigh and measure yourself every single day, day though. Do it once a week, same time, same time, um, same day, same time, um, same kind of clothing. You know, use that as a measure. Absolutely. If that inspires you, definitely. But I don't want you guys jumping on the scale every single morning and thinking, oh my God, my weight hasn't shifted. And then your day is just crappy from then. Hello. Hi. Uh, so yeah. So make a time once a week, maybe on a Monday morning or on a Tuesday morning, because we are starting tomorrow, to, to start those behaviors. Um, but don't be compulsive or obsessive about it. Because the, 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 hello from Wales, oh, lovely to see you. Yes, once a week or you'll get crazy. Thank you so much, Keto Adapted. Yes, and Keto Adapted is an amazing, um, you must follow them as well on, on Periscope. So yeah, once a week, otherwise you get crazy, and that's not what we're after. We're after a healthy lifestyle, healthy mind, healthy body, all of those things. So number seven, we surround ourselves with the right people, and this is so important, everyone. It really, really is. The people we spend most time with play a huge role in our success. So you want to be surrounded by people who love and encourage you and want what's best for you, even if they don't agree with what you're doing. 
I'm also banding, so this is to help with my sugar cravings. Absolutely, Les, absolutely. And we will be talking about cravings and triggers um, towards the end of the week, which is going to be a completely different topic. And it will be amazing to get as many people as we can involved because everybody has their own experience. And everybody knows what works for them or is trying to find out what works for them. So number eight, we express gratitude every single day. No matter how big or small, we take time each day to be thankful for the things and people in our li- the people in our lives. This is so important. What we focus on grows. So if we show that we're grateful for the people in our lives, for our bodies, for what we're going through, for the group, then we'll get more of that abundance into our life. And that's what we're aiming for as well. Number nine, we value experience over stuff. Can we have soda water? Absolutely. You can have soda water, sparkling water, as long as it's not flavored with sweetness or anything. I drink a lot of soda water and um, sparkling water. That's kind of what works for me. I don't, I used to drink a hell of a lot of Coca-Cola, so I love the fizziness. Um, I don't like Coca-Cola anymore, but I love sparkling water, so absolutely have sparkling water. That's fantastic. So number nine, we value experience over stuff. We know that happiness does not lie within material possessions, but rather in experiences which make us happy. So choose experiences which make you happy. This sugar-free September is an uplifting space. Um, So this is really about creating a space where we love, encourage, and support each other. Um, Can you post that again? I just missed it. It just went away. So we value experience over stuff, guys. This is a space that's kind and loving and supportive. No trolls, no horrible people allowed in here. I will block them immediately. So please know that we're here to love, encourage, and support each other. Thank you so much. (laughs) I am pretty positive. (laughs) And number 10, we know there is no such thing as failure. This is so important. There is no such thing as failure. Even if you fall off the sugar-free wagon, you get straight back up. And we're here to nudge you and support you and be with you every single step of the way. So there is only learning. In the same way, the only bad decision is not making a decision in the first place. It is better to act, observe, and adjust than to be paralyzed into indecision. So that's it, guys. Those are the 10 guiding principles that you can find on page 4, on page 5 and 6 of the Sugar Free September ebook. If you haven't yet downloaded it, please head on over to, thank you for the love, head on over to Sugar Free with Karen Thompson, my Facebook page, or the sugarfreerevolution.com and get it there. Now I have some amazingly exciting news to tell you, and I'm actually probably the most excited about this. So, Damon Gamo from That Sugar Film has agreed to be interviewed by myself and Emily tomorrow on our YouTube channel. Um, And Damon is the brain, the producer, the director behind That Sugar Film. And if you haven't yet seen That Sugar Film, it's in South African cinemas now. If you have questions for Damon that you want us to ask him, yay! (laughs) Please go to my Facebook page and post them there or on the the website, thesugarfreerevolution.com and post them there. Um, I'm really excited to chat to him about his journey of starting a high sugar diet. Jen, I manage well most of the time, but when stressed, my no becomes a weak no help. Absolutely. And this is where you have to use the power of the group. When you are feeling down or you're feeling like you're wanting to crave, you need to get it out. You need to ask for help. You need to reach out and allow the group to carry you when you cannot carry yourself. And that's what we're here for. So go to my Facebook page, Sugar Free with Karen Thompson, and we are going to be there for you every single step of the way. If you have any questions or queries, please post them. Please interact. I hope you guys are going to be periscoping your experience so that I can watch and give you loads of love by tapping the screen. Um, and we this is a group effort this is because of every single one of you that we can do this so I'm really excited to be on this journey with you all I will be periscoping again this afternoon in about six hours after my shopping um, to show you guys what's in my fridge thank you for all the sh- oh Charlene hello <laughs> oh it's so nice to be with you guys on here I really really appreciate it so we're in this together this is a team effort let's do it goodbye for anywhere. <laughs>